Okay. Today we will be talking about Tetralogy of Fallot. Now, don't worry about what Fallot means. That's just the name of the person who um, discovered it. So Tetralogy, so Tetra from Latin means four. So basically, we have we have four defects in the heart. So one of the first defects is called pulmonic stenosis. This is when the pulmonic valve gets clogged. So there's not, so resistance builds up. So there's not gonna be a lot of blood flowing. Next, because of that, we have a right ventricular hypertrophy. Now I drew it really severe, but it could actually be something like this. But I drew it re really severe. Next, we have an overriding aorta. This basically means that the aorta is larger than usual. So, so basically, um, so basically, resistance goes down, so more blood can flow in this direction. And then last, but not least, and probably one of the most dangerous of them, we have a VSD, which is a ventricular septal defect. Now it, now it kind of tells you the location, ventricular, so it's located between the bottom chambers. Septal, it comes from septum, which is this wall here. And defect is an abnormality in structure. So basically, if we put that together, we get a hole in, in between the ventricles. So, um, just one thing, if we have a right ventricular hypertrophy as our only abnormality, it can actually cause heart failure because there's, there's a decreased amount of blood going out to the lungs being oxygenated. So that means less blood filling in the, vent, in the left ventricle. So, this will, so this will actually turn into a purplish mixture when it's pushed out of the aorta. So it can cause cyanosis, which is bluening of the skin. The places you'll, you're most likely to see it is over or un, and or under the eyes, maybe some around the mouth, and maybe on the cheeks. So that is the presentation for Tetralogy of Fellow.